while this is a common phrase, it's definitely one that we need to stop using. Welcome to Unifier TV, where truth has no fear. We need to watch what we say, not just to one another, but over ourselves. The things that you profess in your daily lives and things that you don't really think about when you're saying it have a lasting effect on the outcomes in your life, in your workplace, at home, within your family, with, within your ventures, within your business. There's certain things that should not be said, even if we're just being honest, even if we're trying to be real, even if we're just expressing ourselves, there's a lot that we should never let come out of our mouths. And the particular phrase that I'm talking about is the phrase where people say, I shouldn't be here or I shouldn't be alive or I should have never survived that. Yes, you should have. Yes, you should be here. Yes, you should be alive. And you were destined to survive that. It's a small thing, but it's very significant. We say these things, you know, in, just leisurely. We, we, we say them without realizing what we're saying. If you are alive, if you are breathing today, if you survived that attack, if you, if you had a near-death experience and you're alive to watch this video or listen to this podcast, you are supposed to be here. You are here for a reason. God brought you through that because he knew it was going to happen before it happened. You are destined to be here. You were destined to survive. You were meant to live to see this moment. And beyond that, we have to stop telling ourselves that that wasn't supposed to happen. I should not be here. I should not. Yes, you are here for a reason. You're not here by chance. You're not here by a roll of the dice or a luck of the draw. You are here because you were supposed to be here. You are alive because you're supposed to be alive. So yes, walk in your, in your survival, walk in your breakthrough, walk in your, 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 you cheated death. If you want to look at it that way, let's look at it that way, but don't look at it with the devastating phrase of I shouldn't be because you should be. Otherwise you would not be God saw it coming. So he made sure that you survived it. That's how you should look at it. Say I'm blessed to be alive. I'm blessed that I survived that. I almost was taken out, but God saw better. Rephrase that. Rephrase the entire thing because that's going to change your outlook on it. That's going to change your your perception on the rest of your life and the things that you will definitely survive and the things that you're definitely going to achieve. You're here for a reason. This actually brings into mind another phrase. Like I said, it's a very common phrase but people need to stop saying this as well. We need to stop saying can't when people are going through financial struggles or if they're just, you know, in a position where they're steady in their finances, people always say, I can't afford this. I can't do that. The word can't is damning in a lot of ways. And it's also a very eternal word. Yes, you can. Instead of saying can't, if someone wants you to, take a trip with them, or if you want to make a certain expense or anything comes up financially, stop saying can't say it's not within my budget at the moment is outside of the realm of my current state of finances for the moment. Say for the moment, that is not within my budget for the moment. I can't foresee making that expense right now. I am unable to make this purchase right now. You have to believe for better than where you, where you are currently. You, you have to know that nothing bad or nothing negative or, or this hold that you're in is not going to last forever. You have to believe for better. You have to foresee better. You have to walk in the expectation of better. That's the only way we're going to get to that point. You have to expect it. So in general, in closing, let us focus on what we're saying, how we're saying it and the energy behind it when we say it. Because we may not realize we're doing it, and sometimes we do realize it because of the current state of mind that we're in when we say these things. But you are speaking into your present and your future when you allow these words to come out and you give it life. So if you were to backtrack, take this time today to backtrack. Evaluate some of the things that you have said. Think over certain outcomes that have happened in your life 
and then try to match it up with some of the speech that you currently used or you have used before. And I can almost guarantee you there's a strong correlation between the two. So let's refocus. Let's find that supreme confidence to say, I am here for a reason and I'm going to uh, serve a strong purpose. Ask God what that is because you are here for a reason and you can do these things. You, you, you will. So God bless you guys and go and do what you are destined to do. Hey, thank you for watching my video. Uh, I really do appreciate the support. If you also like to support your health, I recommend checking out BioTrust Multicollagen. I've been taking it for a couple weeks now. I also have the Multicollagen Booster. I've seen tremendous differences in my hair, skin, and nails. And yeah, men do care about those things too. So <laughs> if you're like me and you don't want to get into Big Pharma or anything crazy that they produce over there, you just want all natural and it's definitely affordable, then check out BioTrust. Uh, I stand by it. I've seen the results myself. So check them out. I'll post a link in the description and God bless.